To install Dino, we'll run curl. So we're going to grab this curl command from the documentation here. We'll go to our terminal. We'll paste that in, hit enter. And this will install Dino in the background to the most recent version. When I do this, it'll ask me if I want to add Dino to the path. We'll go ahead and say yes. And you can add these setup completions here. And now we have installed this to our path. If you're on Windows, there are installation instructions for you here in the documentation. To generate a Dino project from scratch, let's go ahead and type Dino init my Dino project. This is going to create that folder for me. I can then CD into that folder. Now, if we open this up in VS Code, this has created a Dino.json file, a test file, and a main.ts file. So this is a quick way of getting started. If you're using VS Code, there are a few configuration options that you'll want to set up. So we'll go up here to Code and Settings. We'll select Extensions. So over here in your Extensions, you're going to search for Dino. And then we'll select the one that has been created by Dino Land here. We're going to run Install. And this will install our Dino Land extension. Next, we'll type Command Shift P. This will open up our command palette here, and we can type Dino initialize workspace configuration. We're going to go ahead and click that. That's going to generate this VS Code folder with settings. This is going to enable hints and autocomplete and all of that right here in the code editor. So if I start to type anything from Dino.serve, for example, that's going to give me a look at what the expected parameters of that function are. That's very helpful. This is also going to give us hints when importing. So we'll say import star as path from JSR at standard slash path. So all of them are listed there, pretty cool. And then if we wanted to do something for a remote module, something like OpenAI from https colon slash slash dino land. This is then going to give us the standard library as well as X for all of those third party APIs. So you can actually drill down into OpenAI from here. You just need to select the version. So we'll say OpenAI at v461. And then you can even drill down into that individual file. If you take a look at the documentation here, this will guide you through the process of setting up your own unique environment. There are shell completions that you can add. So depending on which CLI tool you're using, you can set this up over here, whether it's Bash or PowerShell or Z shell or whatever it might be.